as I understand. Jared, if you can hear me, I hear that you're sheltering in place in, in Tallahassee. Can you just sort of take me to your location? Tell me what you're hearing and seeing. Yeah, I'm on the uh, south side of Tallahassee uh, in our house. Um, right now, we have power. Uh, it's raining. It's windy. Uh, but it's not been terrible. So the warnings that I don't know if you could hear Governor DeSantis in his news conference earlier, he was said, he was suggesting that folks in the Big Bend area uh, still have time to evacuate. But the National Weather Service has said for well over a couple of hours now, if you live along the coast, you didn't leave, it is too late. Um, does that sound right about square with what you're seeing out your windows? Yeah, you know, we're we're pretty far from the coast here. We are in the heart of Tallahassee. Uh, but if I was, uh, you know, closer to Crawfordville or St. Mark's, uh, I certainly would not leave at this time. Um, it, You know, the weather is deteriorating fairly quickly, uh, and I would not want to get trapped on the roads. Uh, you know, I know that storm surge is, is going to happen. And, and you know, there's, there's really, at this point, if you're in a coastal area, probably no safe place to be. But... Uh, we feel pretty safe in our house where we're at. Um, you know, we've rode out the last few hurricanes uh, here in this neighborhood and fared pretty well. But, uh, you know, we're, we're certainly in for a long night, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, when you hear that the hurricane warnings are going all the way from Apalachicola, Florida, to Macon, Georgia, uh, that's got to be worrisome. How high up are you, by the way? Are you in a house? Are you in an apartment? Do you have a two-story? What's your situation? We have a two-story house, um, and we're, you know, on as much of a hill as you have in Tallahassee. Uh, you know, Tallahassee is a little hillier than most of Florida, um, but it, it's still not, you know, it's not mountainous by any any uh, stretch of the imagination. Uh, we do have a two-story house. If we need to, we could we could go upstairs, um, but we're not in a floodplain or anything like that. Uh, we know that. Um, from, you know, when we had the house surveyed, when we bought it and all of that. Uh, but we're, you know, we're in a neighborhood that usually fares pretty well, but we do have a lot of trees in this neighborhood. Uh, in fact, we've got several oak trees in our uh, in our yard, and, and that's certainly a concern. Um, you know, we'll we'll have the kids sleeping with us in the same room tonight just in case, and uh, we're, we're going to do all we can to be safe. So you're not as concerned about storm surge where you are, perhaps, but this is going to be a massive rain event. And we saw, listen, I remember during Ian thinking, all those folks, my, my mom is in Naples, and we were terrified, and part of her house was, was taken out. Um, but folks in Orlando were getting absolutely hammered, and people were losing their houses in Orlando, and that couldn't be farther away inland, you know, from the, from the Gulf Coast of, of Florida. So in that respect are you concerned about a rain event are you concerned about any waterways that will take the brunt of a lot of storm surge miles and miles away at the coast oh yeah absolutely uh any anytime you're going to have a category three or four hurricane come through and, and i've lived in florida over 30 years now so uh, i've been been through several in fact i moved to florida two weeks before hurricane andrew hit and uh was in south florida at that time so I remember that very well. And, and anytime you have a, a big hurricane, a massive hurricane, you worry about water. Uh, and like, you know, like I said, we're not worried about flood or potential storm surge where I'm at. Uh, but that doesn't mean we're not concerned about the rain. Um, you know, our, our roadways can certainly uh, can certainly flood, um, you know, roof damage is a possibility. Uh, and, and that was you know, certainly a consideration when my wife and I were talking about whether we were going to stay here and ride it out or go up to uh, to, to her parents' house in, in Birmingham. In um, Birmingham. But we, yeah, yeah, we made and, the choice though, to stay here. Yeah, well, Birmingham is on the list of uh, pre-landfall disaster declarations by President Biden already saying that Alabama yep. and Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, they're all on the list, all expected to sustain a lot of damage. I, I wanted to mention one thing to you as well, Jared, and that is that um, earlier when uh, Governor DeSanta was giving his news conference, he and the other officials who were with him said, listen carefully outside for this storm. And if you hear snapping of trees that sounds like fireworks, know that you have to treat it like, um, you got to treat it like a tornado. And I mean, are you not in that area where all those beautiful live oak trees are? I mean, this has to be quite a concern about the amount of tree damage and what that does. I mean, it 
basically immobilizes streets. It immobilizes emergency services' ability to respond. It takes out houses. It damages vehicles. I mean, it's really dangerous stuff when you're talking about 145 mile an hour winds. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.